And it looks like the summer tradition of a sales tax holiday will continue, but is it what our economy really needs? Lawmakers are poised to pass the bill creating a sales tax holiday for many items that are under $2,500. It'll be the weekend of August 16th and 17th. The whole thing's designed to boost the economy, mm -hmm. but as WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us, not everyone on Beacon Hill thinks it's what our economy really needs. I think if it helps the economy, it's a good idea. Yes, we love our sales tax holiday weekends here in Massachusetts. And with just hours left of the year's final formal session, the legislature is poised to make it happen. You have to give the public something once in a while, and they really look forward to that. But not everyone Especially agrees with Senate President Terry Murray that a two-day tax cut is the kind of economic stimulus our state really needs. There's much better ways that are much more connected to true economic development for everyone across the state. Is that good economic development policy? It is not. It is decidedly not. So with nearly 200,000 people unemployed here and many businesses struggling to turn a profit, what substantive measures did Beacon Hill take to boost the economy? I think you're going to be, people will be very pleased to see the comprehensive economic development bond bill that's coming out. The research and development tax credit, very important in Massachusetts because of the kind of businesses that we have. But while it helps key life science and technology sectors, that bill also gives tax breaks to Broadway-bound show producers, a sour note to some. I think often, uh, sometimes, there are efforts to do gimmick uh, gimmick efforts, small tax credits, um, and I, I happen to think that that doesn't really generate a lot of economic activity and arguably wastes taxpayer dollars. But we will get our weekend of savings. It's too bad they don't include cars. No, it doesn't. And the 20 to 25 million bucks in sales tax revenue the state will lose that weekend is small change in the overall budget picture. But as the legislature wraps up formal sessions for the year tonight, it's worth noting the serious doubts that linger, even among insiders, over the wisdom of Beacon Hill's economic agenda. So among the critics, what do they think the legislature should be doing? Well, just to name a few things that there is bipartisan support for, but not enough to make it happen. Workmen's comp reform, uh, unemployment insurance reform, uh, bringing down energy costs and health care costs. Not that they aren't doing anything in those areas, but not enough. Those are big ticket economic stimulus items. Wait a minute, reform? Well, you know. Sounds complicated. It, sometimes it feels like it's a dirty word up there. <laughs> just because it doesn't get done. John, thanks very much.